Hello! In this video, I will explain the manual optimization of the positioning sensor IPS200i to a round hole as marker. We offer further videos for commissioning support. If you have any questions, please contact our technical hotline or one of our sales colleagues. The basis for the optimization is that the sensor is aligned parallel to the marker and the marker has already been set via the wizard. We are in service mode with the sensor disconnected from the process interface. We select program 1 again in the project management and switch to the image acquisition tab. The goal is to obtain a sufficiently bright image over the selected workspace. Two parameters are relevant for the brightness exposure time and gain. In the close-up range, optimizing the brightness using the exposure time is sufficient. The use of the gain is not absolutely necessary here. For large distances, for example in compartment depth 2, we recommend using the gain as well. In this case, first set the exposure time so that the contrast around the marker is almost sufficiently bright. Then increase the gain until the brightness around the hole is homogeneous. Optimally, the brightness in the working area is selected in a way that there is a homogeneous bright contrast around the hole and the bar behind the hole does not influence the evaluation. With the small camera symbol, you always get a new image. Too high a gain should be avoided, since the image noise increases here and the quality can decrease as a result. Now we switch to the next tab, Marker. This is about optimizing the marker and its detection performance. The marker has already been taught in the wizard and the quality is greater than 90% in the center of the image. The prerequisite for teaching in the marker is that the distance to marker has been set correctly and the positioning sensor is located in front of the real marker. You have two options for teaching in the marker either via the Teach Marker button or by manually setting the marker diameter and marker type. I generally recommend the Teach In via the button. Here the sensor determines the diameter and the marker type based on the entered distance, for example dark for a hole or light for a reflector. When setting manually, you enter the diameter and the type of marker. It is important here that the button is not pressed again afterwards. The quality value related to the marker at hand is determined by the teach-in. The quality value is a relevant indicator for the recognition performance and contains a combination of form factor, roundness, contrast, brightness and scale factor, size, of the marker or bearing position and detects an early degradation at bars or holes. This quality value can be output for optimization during commissioning as well as during real operation. For optimization, we first use the search mode. Via the drop down menu, you can choose from three search modes. As default, the mode standard is set and offers a good detection performance with good contrast between bold and whole. In robust mode, Markers are found even with challenging backgrounds. However, this is at the expense of the evaluation time, as you can see above. Fast is recommended especially when the distance between camera and marker is small or when reflectors are used. We switch back to the standard search mode. The second parameter is the working area. The blue frame describes the working area in the image field and its size and position can be changed. Only a taught-in marker within the working area is recognized. Screw heads or other holes outside the working area are not taken into account. It is important here that the working area should be as small as possible and as large as necessary. The working area is mostly adapted for the stroke of epsilon axis for loading and unloading. A small working range has the additional advantage that the evaluation time is reduced. 
In addition, the center of the working range with its yellow coordinate cross serves the coordinate origin in the center for the determination of the position deviation of the marker in x and y direction. You can also change the positive or negative counting direction from the x and y axis in the configuration tool under the alignment tab. To change the size and position of the workspace, you must first click on the select workspace button. Then you can select the workspace by clicking on the blue frame and change its size and position. In the field workspace at the bottom right, you can see the position in the image field and the size of the workspace in millimeters. Alternatively, to the setting via the mouse, you can change this by entering a value. Please note that the working area must always be completely in the image field. Usually, to teach in the center point of the sensor, the stacker crane is moved to a zero position in the rack. Here, the fork is positioned exactly in the rack for storage or retrieval. You can then accept the center point in the sensor with the Teach Position button. Here, the coordinate origin is moved to the center of the hole and the position deviation in X and Y is zero. However, an automatic shift of the working area is only possible if the blue frame is completely in the image field after the shift. Alternatively, you can move the coordinate origin of the workspace to the center of the marker. Now we have set the brightness, marker and the necessary working area. To do this, we check the quality value both in the center and in the peripheral area of the workspace. Basically, the higher the quality value, the more reliable the detection performance. As a rule of thumb, we recommend a value above 50% in the edge area. I start the live image display with the button here above and look at the quality display. First in the center and then we move to the edge areas of the workspace. This ensures that the detection is given in the necessary area. Afterwards, exit the live image display. The marker tolerance describes the range in which the real measured diameter is still accepted as a valid marker diameter compared to the original thought in marker. Due to variations, in the working distance or due to manufacturing tolerances of the holes in the crossbar, the measured diameter of the positioning sensor can vary. With the help of the marker tolerance, you can take such variations into account. However, please note that a large set tolerance also detects contours with significantly smaller or larger diameters. Therefore, we recommend not to set this value larger than necessary. Now the position sensor is optimally adjusted to the marker. We hope you found our tutorial helpful. If yes, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments or contact our technical hotline, your Leutze sales representative or visit our website at leutze.com.